Okay, I think this may be a little bit more of a fair competition this time. What's up, YouTube? Griever here, and today we are going to be comparing and doing a little versus of the Dark Zone Liberator versus the X-Shot Chaos Orbit. Now, last time I did something versus the Liberator, it was the Busby Monorail, which, kind of looking back, was really not too much of a competition. Um, the Monorail, as cool as it was, was always plagued with some inconsistencies, more so than this thing. And now that I finally got my hands on the, uh, the Orbit, I think we're going to have a bit more fair of a competition. So, I'm going to go over to the workbench just kind of go over you know the pros and cons to each blaster and then kind of give my final thought on which one would most probably be the preferred of the two um i'm not going to do internals on this one if you want to see internals of these blasters i did do full review and internals on these uh which you can see on the click the links up here and all for that so let's just go to the bench we'll start uh and uh let's start taking a look at these two Okay, so first up, we're going to be dealing with the Dart Zone Adventure Force Liberator. Now, I said all of those names because a this is made and produced by Dart Zone, so this is one of this would be considered, and it even says on here, powered by PTDZ, which is something something Dart Zone. Uh, it's the same thing that's on actually the. Uh, Powerball, which is sold the target. And I say Adventure Force because Adventure Force is Walmart's proprietary toy line. Now, they have a bunch of different stuff in this toy line. So it's not just the blasters, but it's other things like fake, you know, kind of like really fake toy guns, um, figures, vehicles, dinosaurs, a whole bunch of stuff. But the main thing is, as long as this is Adventure Force, Unless Dart Zone makes a different version with a different tack rail or a couple of other different things on here, you're not going to be seeing this anytime in the wild outside of Walmarts. Uh, the other thing is, which unfortunately also very much limits its limits this blaster's availability, is this is a Walmart Online exclusive. So you can't even go into your local Walmart to actually pick this up. If you want this, you actually have to order it online through walmart.com. Uh, this actually has been confirmed by Dart Zone. And I don't know if they're going to be changing that anytime soon. So there's a good chance you're only going to be able to get this when it is available online. So that unfortunately severely limits the availability of this blaster. However, that's not saying that this is automatically a bad blaster. Uh, you have, you can hold 10 rounds into here. Uh, it uses, it comes with the dart zone rival rounds, uh, the little orange cheese balls, which again would be completely understandable because this is a dart zone blaster. You can use your nerf HIR or rival rounds with it, uh, along with the actual X shot chaos rounds as well. The again, blaster holds 10 rounds. You load it through the bottom front of the blaster, so you do actually have to prime it in order to load it. And when you pull the slide back, you will see this little door here. You're going to push that open, and that will allow you to start loading into the uh, internal magazine. Now, there has been debate about whether or not you can reload this on the fly. I actually did post a video of me doing this on my uh, Facebook page. Uh, but if you actually do hit the little dart gate release here while it's open, you can load extra rounds in here. So if you're only on five and you're like in between things or whatever, and you or you have a break, or if you're out and waiting to come back in and you want to reload, you can reload it. You may wind up pushing in a round in order to get into the actual loading magazine. So you may wind up, your next shot may wind up being a double, but that's okay. It's shotgun. Shotguns are supposed to fire more, technically more than one. Um, 
and it may take an extra second to just hit that gate and pull this forward in order to actually get back to a ready position. But it can be done. So to say that it can't be reloaded on a fly is a little bit of a, of a misinformation. Now, however, loading it though, or, you know, performance wise, it is known to skip rounds or kind of get a little hung up. So feeding is not always going to be 100% reliable anyway. Um, I've very rarely ran into the issue. Um, I've put plenty through it. I've maybe had not even half a dozen hiccups. And that's over a lot of usage and also purposefully trying to do it. So there is that. Um, now, just going into stock performance of the blaster, uh, this thing actually ranks very low on the side of where it lands FPS-wise. Um, a lot of blasters, mainly the Rivals and even the Chaos, claim 100 feet, 100 feet per second or 100 FPS. This actually makes no claims on the actual packaging, but through... Various testing by numerous other nerfers and all. Um, it's pretty much an average of about 85 that this thing will hit. Um, which, again, puts it on the low, low end of the spectrum. Because the only other real rival-esque blaster I know can hit that low is the Atlas. And the Atlas is actually firing two rounds at a time. This is only firing one. So, also uh, going on to comfort of the blaster, I actually do find this blaster to actually be quite comfortable. Uh, the grip itself here is very nice. Uh, you have a good spot for the thumb and definitely a nice grip, especially for, you know, someone of my hand size. This is extremely, extremely comfortable. Uh, the pump grip itself... While I really have no complaints on it, the design of it is very lackluster. Uh, it basically just looks like a giant rectangle with a little bit of a grip for a thumb. And that's really it. So, this also does come with a built-in iron... Uh, built-up... Let me try that again. It comes with a built-in front sight. Uh, along with the sights back here, you have built-in iron sights on this. Now, one cool thing with this is, now, the one nice thing is, though, the rail on this, while it won't take the rival stuff, it will actually take an end strike attachment. So, I have here the modulus flashlight. So, now, it doesn't, it can't lock in, so, if depending on how hard you're running, you may wind up, it may slide, but it actually does stay on there pretty damn well. So if you wanted to use a site or maybe put on the modulus light um, or if you have another end strike like attachment that light is a whole lot better than this, uh, you can definitely utilize that on the Liberator. So that is definitely a, big, a nice plus on here as well. But I think I've covered everything on here. So let's move on to the Meteor now. Okay, and here we have the X-Shot Chaos Orbit. Now, this is obviously put up by X-Shot. Kind of hard to miss right there. Uh, the The Blaster's name is actually Orbit. Uh, Chaos is, I believe, their name for their rival line. Um, you have a much bigger blaster with the Orbit. Not by much, but it is... Definitely a bit more sizable than the uh, Liberator. You're talking about 23 to 24 inches now in length um, over the 21 inches. You're also talking about 6 inches here, 7.5 if you actually include the, uh, the sight here as well. So it is a bit bigger blaster. But it's not like obviously overly uncumbersome. Uh, to load this particular blaster, what you would need to do is this little uh, knob here 
which is ambidextrous. You have to slide this to the back. You have to slide this to the back of the blaster, and you're actually reloading through this hole right here. This holds 14 rounds, which is four more rounds over its competition. You once you have all 14 rounds loaded, you just press the little button. Ow, that hit my finger, and it releases this, which now acts as a pusher for the internal magazine. So, ow. As you're firing, it's going to go down, it's going to go down, it's going to go down, it's going to go down. If you need to reload this on the fly, this is much easier to reload than it is on the Liberator. All you have to do is slide this back and just start tossing in rounds. You don't have to have it primed in order to load it. And if you see a zombie or an opponent coming at you, just hit the button real quick and go get them. Now, availability-wise, since it was one of the last things I had mentioned with the Liberator, uh, the availability of the Orbit is, I don't want to say about as limited as the other one, but it does have its limitations. Because this is supposed to be released in the major marketplaces like Target and Walmart and Amazon and all that good stuff. Um, unfortunately, the availability of that is like, almost slim to none at those three major places. Um, I have not found these in Target. I have not found these in Walmart. And the only ones I found on Amazon is a two pack of these. So unless you want two of them, you found it. If you only want one, you gotta keep looking. Now I happen to find mine in, a, in Burlington. And I don't mean the township over from me. I'm talking about the Burlington store, formal, the stores formerly known as Burlington Code Factory. They have, they must have some kind of a deal with X-Shot because every Burlington Coat Factory or Burlington store, whatever they're called now, I go into, I always find in their toy section at least one big display of X-Shot blasters. Like, I can find a Vigilante there, I can find the Reflex 6s, the Bug Attacks, the their zombie line ones. It's... It's very easy to find. If you're looking for an X shot blaster, honestly, I think that is the place to go from now on. Um, I only found one, which was this, and it was behind a, a couple of things. Now, I've heard other people saying they found three or four in their store. They found this and the Meteor, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it's also being retailed in other places, places I've never heard of, like... Um, Oh, what were they? Uh, one of them was a place called Rural King. Another one is Farm and Fleet. Uh, never heard of it. Uh, Shields. I think I may have heard of them. Uh, but you can also find them uh, overseas in like at in uh, Blaster Hub, uh, a couple of other places as well. But. Stateside, your best bet's going to probably be Burlington to find one of these things. Unless you happen to be by one of those other stores that I had mentioned. Um, overall comfort on this is, again, really nice. The Both grips are really good. And honestly, I, really, I actually like this grip over the Liberator itself. The only downside is just this part of the stock that was on, that's on the Orbit. Uh, if you hold it straight out, it just digs into your hand and it's impossible to hold like that. So you always have to kind of hold it at an angle or at least like semi, you know, your arm at least semi out so it's not in your wrist. Um, and still, sorry, and still, I have no idea what the hell this damn switch does. Eh. But I think that's going to be, I think that kind of covers me for the orbit. Uh, this actually does make ranges, uh, make claims of ranges of 100 FPS, and again, through various other nerfers and everything, testing and all that stuff, stock is very accurate. Uh, this thing will, out of the box, on average, shoot 100 FPS, which is awesome. <laughs> I mean, no other way to say it. it. That's just great performance. So, oh. 
I'm sorry, I am forgetting a few things. I apologize. Um, you will see over here that it looks like there are some kind of rails. They are not rails. Uh, these side things, as I had mentioned in my review, are kind of like just the plates on the Turbo Advance. The rail up here has no siding, so there's absolutely nothing you can put there. Plus, it is extremely low profile. Um, you really can't fit anything there. The only thing that is a rail is this piece up here, but you also have the sections right there, which make sliding anything on nigh impossible because you also have the piece here so you'd have to almost snap it onto place uh, it also has a built-in sight and this is non-removable unless you mod it and chop it off this is not going anywhere um, however i do have to say the detail of the reticle which hopefully you'll be able to see there sorry there we go the detail of that reticle is actually really nice. Um, honestly, one of the best reticles I have seen in an Earth Blaster or Foam Blaster anywhere. Um, but yeah, now that's definitely going to do it for uh, the X shot. Uh, and you'll see me in a second and get my final thoughts and find out how each of these fared. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on these things. Um, both honestly have uh, their advantages and disadvantages. My personal take would be going to the Liberator. However, I think the overall competition is really going to go to the Orbit. Now, while I love the Liberator, and this is probably going to be a kind of go-to for me just because of size, form factor, and, uh, and just honestly, I really, really like the design of this. Uh, the X-Shot just has a little bit more going for it. It's got a higher capacity. It's got a, honestly, a much comfortable pump grip. And honestly, the availability, even though it's not in the major retailers, this is online only on Walmart. This, you at least have a good chance of running, out, of running into out in the wild. So... And even price point, they're about the same. You'd just be paying for shipping on that thing, where unless you're getting this on Amazon, you're not going to be paying for shipping other than whatever gas you spent to go to the store. Uh, so, yeah, I have to say, while I love the Liberator, I think the Orbit is definitely taken into this one. So, that's going to be it for this video. And thank you, everyone, for joining me. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, throw us a like and subscribe leave a comment down below let me know which one of these two you actually prefer and am i correct in how i think the uh verses did actually go and oh don't forget to click that little bell icon otherwise you may not know when me and arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel so again thank you everyone for watching i'll see you guys next time later